we have uh, four counties, Martin, Indian River, St. Lucie, and Okeechobee County, and we process the evidence in, physical, in uh, criminal cases uh, for those law enforcement agencies in the four counties. Well, we do about uh, 3,000 cases per year. Well, the majority of the, of the cases uh, are controlled substances. They're drugs. We still have a relatively significant population of uh, drug trafficking and drug using and abuse in the four county area. Um, so the majority of cases fall into that category, and we just analyze to confirm what they can identify what the substances are. The other areas we have are firearms and tool mark examinations, uh, mostly from violent crimes cases where weapons are discharged, and we uh, do comparisons uh, or help identify what the possible weapons are. And uh, we do have a firearms database as well, so that we can search the, the casings or the projectiles to uh, see if they've been used in other crimes. And then the third area we have is a DNA section, serology and DNA section, uh, where we analyze physical evidence of physiologic fluid nature and see if that's associated or relevant to criminal activity. And then from there we, um, if suitable and necessary, we'll take it forward for DNA analysis. It's for documentation, so it's photography. Okay. Photo documentation, all the evidence. And we actually do the outside of the package. We do inside, what if there's other packages inside of a package? We take photographs of it. And then we, nine, I'd say probably 98% of the time, 99% of the time, we will photograph uh, our items. Sometimes it's not quite needed if, uh, if it's something that's you pretty obviously it doesn't have a stain or anything, and you're not going to do anything real with it, just a quick exam. You may not photograph that. It is up to the analyst, but generally speaking, we do. We actually would bring the evidence back here. And we have individual lockers we store it in, or and we have lockable cabinets under each counter uh -huh. that we deal with the evidence. So when it's time to process the evidence, we actually would do something like this, where we bring out uh, a sheet of paper, and we would open the evidence on it. And in this case, I've got an example of some blood stains and what semen and things like that look like. And this is basically what they refer to a, a lot in, like on CSI, as uh, alternate light source. Uh -huh. Every square inch of your garment, or whatever you're looking at. Okay. And then when you have a stain like that, then you would just take an ink pen, and you can just highlight it. Instead of me having to take the liquid out, putting more in each time, and doing a wash, it does it for you. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, it's going to put the DNA in these tubes. Cleaned up nice, and what you'll see is you might start with a real nasty looking blood stain, red and brown, and all that. And when you get done, you'll have just a very small amount of clear liquid with the DNA in it, all washed mm -hmm. and cleaned up. We used to, in the old days when DNA first came out, we would basically almost have to have a bucket load of DNA, in theory. You'd have to have a huge stain. Now you just need. Now we need that little dot at the end of a sentence or even or. even something we can't see. But if you gathered that up, it probably would be the same quantity of DNA at the end of that period. You just may not be able to see it because it's spread out and it's not as concentrated as that dot.